Okay, so now we're gonna talk about going over installing the strings on the post, which people have the most problems with. And it's really not that difficult um, once you get used to doing it. So what I'm gonna basically do is take this first string, there's a slot in the post of the tuning key. I'm gonna feed that string through. And then generally, this is the way I do it. Different people do it different ways. I give it about, mm, about five, six inches off the fretboard. And then I take it and wrap it around the top once, bend this part up so it's out of the way and it's locked in place. Then I take my string winder, wind it around. Now that first wrap's gonna go on the top and as I'm winding down, the other wraps are gonna go underneath. And if you can see here, you can see that the string's sandwiched. And essentially what that sandwich is doing is locking the string in place so it's not gonna slip. It's not that imperative with this guitar because you do have a locking nut that will lock down on the strings. But, you know, I'm just showing you this is generally, you know, I would, I would restring a guitar like this regardless if it was an acoustic or if it was a Floyd floating bridge type of guitar. The only kind that I wouldn't use this on is a locking tuning key. So I got that first string on, clip off the extra, move on to the next string. Feed it through the post. Give it about six inches off the board, extra slack. Wrap it around the top once bend the extra string up so it's out of the way, and then I'm holding with one hand, winding with the other. Now this hand's holding the tension on the string so that it won't flop all over the place. And you have to keep it in mind that these strings are made out of metal and they're almost, you know, there's almost like a wire. So you do have to bend it a little bit and you do have to maneuver it and you gotta kind of manhandle it a little bit or else it'll just flop all over the place. And you can see how easy it is. I just basically uh, did the first wrap on the top and then as I'm winding the strings, I'll wind them down. I usually shoot for three wraps on the wound strings because they're wound, they're gonna have some grip and they're not gonna slip. On the unwound strings, I usually shoot for four to five winds around the tuning post. So I'll give a little more slack. Now this one I'm gonna give about six inches here. Take it and wrap it around the top once. Bend the string up and then wind it around. Now I'm holding with one hand as I'm winding with the other. And that's keeping tension on the string, sandwiching it, locking it in place. And you just get it close to tension. You don't, I'm not really tuning it up. I'm just getting it close. And then we'll go back and tune it up after I'm all done. So now I got the plain string. So this one wears, if it was wound, I'd give it that. So I'm going to give it just a little extra. I'm going to take this and wrap it around. Now you also want to make sure that on these guitars, you always wind the string on the inside. You want all the strings to wind on the inside. If you wind it to the outside, it's going to be putting too much stress at the nut. And you know, if you have like a bone or a micarta nut or something like that, you could break it or even plastic. A lot of manufacturers use plastic. This one, probably not because it's metal, but it's still good to have that on there. So I'm gonna switch hands. I'm gonna come over on this side. And I'm gonna just hold it with one hand. Make sure that's under me. I'm gonna hold it with one hand. And then once it's started, you pretty much just hold tension on it and you can wind it around. So this one I'm probably gonna have, I'm gonna have end up having about four wraps on this one. Now like I said, it's not that imperative. I still would just practice winding the strings like this even if you have a Floyd. So when you get an acoustic or you re restring your other guitar, you know, you'll be used to winding the strings like this. String through the hole. Get a little bit extra tension about like that. I'm gonna wrap it around the top once. That'll lock it in place, bend this up. And then I hold with one hand, wind around with the other. And as you can see, this is pretty easy. Now, I make it look easy because I do this all day, every day. So I'm definitely used to doing this. I like restring thousands of guitars. Um, but it's just something that takes practice. I mean, once you practice it, it'll become easier and easier and easier. And just having somebody showing you the proper way to do it really makes a difference. And also having the string wound on here right makes a difference, you know, if, if, if you had a string that, if you had a guitar that doesn't have a locking nut on it and you don't install the strings right, they can slip. I had a customer just come in the other day and I took a string and just pulled it right out and wasn't even pulling that hard and it just came right out of the tuning key because he didn't wrap enough around. So get the last string here, going to feed it through, a little bit extra, wrap it around the top once, bring that up, and then I'm going to hold one hand as I wind around with the other. Now, having a string winder is a useful tool. They're only about $2. You can also buy them with a string cutter attached. Um, you know, if I was to do this by hand, you can do it. It's just going to take forever. So I like to be efficient, especially when I'm working. Makes it makes the job smoother. Because for some people, it is a pain to change strings. Some people don't even like change strings. I have people bring in instruments that 
they just say, oh, I don't really feel like changing strings, which, you know, we definitely offer the service, you know, I'll, I'll clean it, basically do what I've done right here, you know, um, in the in the process of changing strings. So now I got all the strings on there installed correctly. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna still leave this in because this is holding the bridge where it is because right now there's not full string tension. So the springs are gonna pull the bridge down. So now I'm gonna hook up to my tuner. We're gonna tune the guitar, get it close, and then we'll remove the back plate from here. Now different manufacturers of strings sometimes have different tensions and it can throw it off a little bit. Pull this out and see where we're at with the tuning of the instrument. So now I'm going to evaluate it. I'm going to look at the bridge. It's pulling up a little bit. So that's telling me that there's more string tension than spring tension. So I'm just going to tighten down on the claw in the back a little bit just to give it a little bit more tension. So what I'm going to do is flip the guitar around, come in here on the claw, and just give it a couple turns. You can just do this incrementally. Now the other thing you want to make sure is if you zoom in here, this claw line I found is good if you have the end of the cavity perfectly parallel with that claw. It'll actually help the guitar stay in tune better. For some reason it just balances the, st the spring tension on it a little bit better. So generally that's how I would uh, you know, adjust that. So I tweaked it just a little bit. We'll go back in, tune it up. We're actually really close right now. Because we didn't change strings and we didn't change tuning, we're pretty much in standard tuning. So we're pretty much almost there. So we don't really need much of a tweak at all. And this is a new guitar, so it was set up from the factory, and they do set these from the factory fairly well. You know, a lot of the time people will buy new instruments and they'll bring them in because they want to have them dialed in for their own personal playing preference. Where they might like a lower action, or they might like something that, you know, a thicker string, things like that. That's actually in tune. Bridge is fairly balanced. I mean, there's definitely a range where you can get it. This is good though. So we're in tune right now, everything's good. Now what I would do is the final step of setting the Floyd is locking the nuts down here. So all these fine tuners right here, I would zero those out so they're basically in the middle position so they can go up 50%, down 50%. You know, because if they're down all the way and then you clamp down here, the strings will go out of tune a little bit. Um, you know, so you use these to basically fine tune it. The first Floyd Roses actually didn't have fine tuners on them, so you had to like, you know, tune up the strings and then kind of tweak the tuning of the string to calculate for when you clamp down here and it changes the pitch. So that didn't really last too long before they came up with the fine tuning adjustment down here. So basically just zero those out, retune the instrument again. You got your locking nuts, you're gonna place these on top, tighten these down. And then once you get those tightened down, you're going to do another retune. Now this retune, I would bring the guitar in playing position because sometimes it can change the tension on the, on the Floyd here a little bit if it's in playing position or if it's laying down like this. So the final adjustment, the final tuning I would do laying um, in playing, playing position. And then once I'm done with that, then I'm just going to put the back plate back on. We'll screw it back together. And then, so essentially this is pretty much everything that you're going to need to know with a Floyd and setting it and basically restringing it, you know, minor adjustments. Now obviously you still have your neck adjustment and your action adjustment and things like that, which, you know, if something that's, that intrigues you, you know, they, they make a lot of information, a lot of books. Stuart McDonald is a, a good website for any resource like that, for anything more in depth. But this is just gonna be your basic general maintenance on the instrument changing strings and you know tweaking the trim if it needs a little tweak you know the, the string tension that I use on the new set of strings is, I think is slightly different than the ones that it came from the factory with so this guitar is ready to go and that's how you restring and maintain and clean and uh, you know adjust the Floyd guitar on a, on a floating style bridge